In my search for Germany-related things to talk about, I stumbled across one of those videos listing lots of facts about the country. These are always very interesting to me because quite often you find a fact that is just begging to be fact-checked. And once again I seem to have hit the jackpot with this interesting little tale. Apparently in 1960s Germany, lighting a condom on fire was illegal. Two of the Beatles members found that out the hard way and got deported from Germany. Really? Two Beatles were deported for the crime of burning condoms? That was a crime? You probably caught the word apparently in there, which I suspect means we don't actually know for sure. So I did a little bit of my own research and I couldn't find any evidence that Germany ever had a law specifically banning the burning of condoms. But still, it is likely that there is some kind of story behind this, so what is it? I found two sources. The first is a biography of George Harrison by a man called Gary Tillery, who also wrote a biography of John Lennon. The second is a German language website, seemingly designed in about the year 1992, by a certain Wolfgang Röhl, who is simply somebody who is really fascinated by the Beatles. The year is 1960. The Beatles, with their original drummer Pete Best, have been in Hamburg for a couple of months and have a contract to play at a club owned by Bruno Koschmieder, and they're not happy. In particular, the place they were staying in was awful. It was tiny, there were no lights, and even during the day it was almost too dark to see. They started playing at a different club where they were paid much better, but this violated the terms of their contract and so really angered Kochschmieder. Very shortly after that, George Harrison was arrested and deported, having repeatedly violated a curfew. At only 17, he was still too young to be performing in clubs after midnight there's a suspicion that it was Koschmieder himself who tipped off the police. The remaining Beatles moved in haste to their new, much better lodgings provided by their new employer. Lennon went straight there, but McCartney and Best went back to their old place to pack their things. They'd just played a concert, it was two in the morning, and there was no light. So the story goes, they pinned four condoms to the wall and set fire to them to act as makeshift torches. I don't know how much light an average condom might produce, but in a radio interview in 2008, Pete Best said that that's exactly what they did. He also said that he wouldn't recommend it to anybody else. Apparently, burning condoms stink. When they left, they didn't think to extinguish the condoms. As a result, a tapestry hanging on the wall was badly scorched. A couple of days later, McCartney and Best were arrested on suspicion of attempted arson. That is, they were accused not of the crime of burning condoms, but of the crime of trying to burn down a building. According to Tillery, the two were immediately deported and weren't even allowed to collect their belongings, but according to whichever sources Röhl used, they were initially released but then re-arrested and then deported. Röhl actually suggests that the condom story may not be accurate. He says that there are several different versions of the story and in some of them they set fire to different things. But since Best himself is on record as having said that it was actually condoms, then perhaps we should believe it. So two of the Beatles were deported after setting fire to some condoms, but that doesn't mean that the act of burning condoms itself was outlawed. Rather, they were accused of trying to burn down an entire building. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to send me a postcard, here's the address. And don't forget to visit my website and follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Also, if you'd like access to special bonus content and help with the costs of running this channel, please consider making a small monthly donation on Patreon.